February 11, 2018 Is your mind stayed on God? You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Isaiah 26 3 Is your mind stayed on God or is it starved? Starvation of the mind, caused by neglect, is one of the chief sources of exhaustion and weakness in a servant's life. If you have never used your mind to place yourself before God, begin to do it now. There is no reason to wait for God to come to you. You must turn your thoughts and your eyes away from the face of idols and look to Him and be saved, see Isaiah 45 22. Your mind is the greatest gift God has given you and it ought to be devoted entirely to Him. You should seek to be bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, 2 Corinthians 10 5. This will be one of the greatest assets of your faith when a time of trial comes, because then your faith and the Spirit of God will work together. When you have thoughts and ideas that are worthy of credit to God, learn to compare and associate them with all that happens in nature the rising and the setting of the sun, the shining of the moon and the stars, and the changing of the seasons. You will begin to see that your thoughts are from God as well and your mind will no longer be at the mercy of your impulsive thinking, but will always be used in service to God. We have sinned with our fathers, and, did not remember, Psalm 106 7 Then prod your memory and wake up immediately. Don't say to yourself, but God is not talking to me right now. He ought to be. Remember whose you are and whom you serve. Encourage yourself to remember, and your affection for God will increase tenfold. Your mind will no longer be starved, but will be quick and enthusiastic, and your hope will be inexpressibly bright.